Hello everyone, it's Sandy, 21 Mangle time again. I'm going to open up my new boards. And get them open. Yay! Here they are, my panelized boards. Let's go to the back. Let's have a closer look, shall we? Okay, there's the back. I expect to make it.com, Sandy to our Mangler 2018 2. Make something unexpected. Of course, chopped it off. <laughs> I'm really bad at positioning my silk text, it looks like. And there's the top. So we've got eight per panel. It's exactly the same layout as I had before. The only difference is, as we might be able to see, this is the old board. If I put one next to each other, we can see that the power line, the three volts is going to that top pin, when it should actually, in fact, be going to the bottom pin, because it's been flipped. And you can see the little marker over here, which designates the top, where this one had it on the bottom, the marker. So that was my silly mistake. So, let's make one of these boards, shall we? Okay, I'm just going to separate some boards. Should be fairly straightforward. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad, but that was much harder to separate than my other boards so far. Cool. Do with a little bit of cleaning, but they're okay. Might as well clean up both of them. Okay, so there's my board. Oops, turn it around. Old one, new one. As I said, identical. So let's put the old one away. Let's get our stencil ready. I'm so glad we can use the same stencil. Now the only thing might be because of the extra gunk we've got at the top here, it might actually place the board in a slightly different position. So I might have to scrape some of that off. Okay, let's get the board in. Yeah, it's gonna be tight because of the paneling. Wow, hope I can get it back out again. Should be able to. Let's check our registration. Looks pretty good. Okay, so let's paste this, shall we? I think that's way too much paste. <laughs> Oh well, I'm going to make it look like I'm using up on my paste, don't I? Got my nerd perks again. Yay. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's stacks of paste. Don't forget, we're not pasting the centre. That centre's got tape on it where the IC sits. It's only the stuff around the outside. Here we go. Let's see if we do it one pass. I think I missed the side. Okay. How's that look? That looks pretty good. I've got stacks of paste left here though. Let me just get the board out. And move it to the side. And let's clean up some of this paste before I forget and stick my hand in it. Okay, it's time to start populating the board. Might start with the crystal. Let's put that over here. Just gonna turn the board around. Okay, we need voltage regulator. You ideally want to get it the right spot the first time, <laughs> if you can. I've got a couple of LEDs. I need to work out which way they go. Let's bring them in. I'm going to use green LEDs this time. I've got my LED twee that I'm going to use to work out which way is the right way. Now before I do that, I need to work out where they go. So they go here and here. Positive is on the outside of each. So it's my positive side right now where my thumb is. So I need to find the positive side. Okay, that's this way. And for this one, that's back to front. So let's just rotate that around. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Maybe I just didn't grip it properly. Oh, flipped it. I have to start that process again. Here we go. Okay, so the positive is down on both of them. Okay, I need to put this one here. Just turn the board around gently. And this one goes here. Now sometimes you can see some visible markings on the LEDs, like they get a little marking on the corner right here to show which side is negative. But I like actually testing them first and placing them properly. So now we have, apart from the USB header, we've got a whole bunch of caps and resistors to go on. They're all 0805s. So I'm going to start with some caps. I'm just going to move that down a little bit. So these are both 15 picofarad 
The crystals actually need 12.5s, but I don't have 12.5s, so I'm using 15s instead. Got one here. And one there. Cool. Now I need some one microfarad. So three of them. One, two, three. Crazy how small these components are. Okay, these are just decoupling caps. Cool. So now we've got two tens and a point one over there. And I believe the rest are resistors. So let's grab our point one. Let's rotate around again. Okay, I need two tens. These are also for power regulation. One is after the five volts in on the USB and the other one is after the three volts out. Okay, so now we have a 430K resistor, a 100K resistor and two 2.2s. Let's get out 2.2s. We don't have 2.2s. We've got two though. So we're going to get two twos. Let's flip it around. One. Just here. And one just there. Now we need a 100 and a 430. Where is our 100? 100. Okay, this is the enable resistor for the voltage regulator. You should always position the board in a direction that makes it comfortable for you to place the parts rather than trying to twist your hand. That is my recommendation. Okay, this is the 430. Okay, now we just need to put the USB header on, which is this little sucker here. Once again, you need to get the orientation in a way that suits. I think that looks okay. So, time to reflow. Straight off the oven onto the heatsink. Let's let it cool down for a bit. Have I missed anything? Nope. Great. So, once this is cooled down, I just need to put the header on with my trusty iron, which I'll turn on now, and then we can try it. How exciting. Let's move it around. It gets a bit warm, certain parts of the heatsink. So it's just sucking the hot air off it right now. It's already pretty cool to touch. Great, so, okay, I know the header goes on this way. If I can get the holes. With the little nub for the cable on that side. So let's turn it over. I'm going to flux it, make it easy or easier. Hear the flux burning, maybe? Oh, got a bit of a bridge, I'll fix that in a moment. I don't have a smaller tip. I wish I had one, but right now I don't. Okay, I just need to fix this one bridge. What do I need to do now? I need to turn the iron off before I burn myself. Grab my base. Go. I need to grab my IC, put it in the right spot. This poor SAMD21 chip has gone through a lot. Let's get it, get it in the rough right spot. Put the holder on. And all I need to do is jiggle it around. And it should get into position. So, I'm going to stick power in. Should have also plugged my Atmel ice in. Probably first. There it is. You can see the lights are on. So when I plug it in, you should actually see the lights change. See the green light came on? Okay, now let's see if this works. Read, worked, memories, program. And it programmed. <laughs> what? First time, verify. So you might be able to see the little green LEDs just flicker really quickly when I do a verify. There you go, but it's um, working. That's it. Chip is flashed. It's got a bootloader on it. So let me just unplug this and unplug the power and there it is folks SAMD21 Mangler finished and working with the header on the right way round let me just pull this off see if the chip can stay in the right spot there you go look at that great alignment 
So let me just knock the chip off just for the moment. There it is. It's in its case, sitting on the bottom. So right now it's obviously loose. It can come off quite easily. I need to find some type of locking me mechanism for the base. But there it is, a finished SAMD21 Mangler Revision 2, working as expected. So there's no more requirement to stick the chip upside down on here first. You just place it on the right spot, roughly in the right spot, with the pin facing the right way. Get it fairly close. Put the jig in. Wiggle it around. The reason I wiggle it is I've actually got four corners on the jig that aligns the chip. And once it's like that, it's in. Um, you can actually look from the side and check whether the the pins are aligned or not, but as you just saw, it just worked perfectly. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Welcome to all my new subs. If you haven't subbed, please do. It's uh, really important for my channel to lift my sub count. And until next time, catch you later everyone.